Hey everybody, Monday, 11.30 in the afternoon. I'm gonna go up and see my mother up at the nursing home. Been around and off for a little ways anyhow. I'll just keep you a couple minutes here and see if anything. Well, they cut the hay there. Farmers cut the hay. Anyway, I'm gonna ride along for a couple miles here and get up to Penfield now. Probably turn you off and get back with you if anything exciting happens. Nothing new today. 63 degrees right now. Cloudy, cloudy skies. It's supposed to rain. It sure looks like it. Lots and lots of rain this year, this spring. But take it as you get it, you know. I took a shower this morning. Just got all spruced up, cut my hair, got all fancy. So we'll go up and see what's going on at the nursing home. I don't think, uh... oh, I forgot what I was going to say. I, got, I might stop at the Dollar General. I might have a grocery haul. We'll see. Stay tuned. Hello. Tuesday morning, 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock Tuesday morning, I have to go out again. Why do I seem like I have to go out almost every day anymore? I don't know. The first part of this video was from yesterday. I said I was going to go up and see my mom. And I did. <coughs> and then I did that video about my Jersey Mike's. I forgot to tell you, my mother's doing pretty good. Another week or so, she should get back to her personal care room, I hope. We went for a walk up the hallway and she, she was in her wheelchair, but she paddled along really really quick. Her legs are strong. She didn't have to use the, the railing on the walls to help her along. She did it all with her legs. She went all the way out front and all the way back, I guess. So then I did the Jersey Mike's and forgot all about telling you about my mother. So She's doing good. I stopped at the post office P.O. box. I got that uh, back rub, Voltaire and Voltar, and I still don't know how you say that. I got that from Joan, so I just picked it up this morning, and I got a card from. Hold on a minute, because I can't walk and chew gum same time I got a card from Brenda Lee and Robert Lee Robert E. Lee he sounds familiar from uh, New Philadelphia Ohio I never heard of that I'm gonna have to look that up on Google Maps but I don't have internet service out here so but I'll have to look that up. I'm not familiar with where that might be. I know Ohio pretty well, but I don't know that. So, we're out here. I thought I'd take her out up Parker Dam again and look and see what the situation is. If anybody's out here so far. There was only two or three people down by the dam. Nobody on the beach. I think there was maybe one or two fishermen. There's a bunny rabbit. Oh, a chipmunk. That was a red squirrel. Uh, one or two people on the beach, a couple people walking. I just passed a fisherman there. It's a terrible day out today. It's supposed to rain. The weather said pretty soon here. It's 10.04. 
So it should be coming any time now according to the weather. It's only 55 degrees. So it's kind of cold out. I actually have the windows up and I have my heater turned on. We'll go up to the campground. There's a big camper and a guy sitting out. There's a little pop-up camper. Camp host is here. Right there with the golf cart. Nice big trailer they got. Uh, we'll take the long way. Back here is where I want to camp. Let's pick out a spot. I think... Oh, there's a few. Look at that little teardrop camper there. That's nice. I'd like to have one of those. They're expensive. There's a pop-up. There's a one on the back of a pickup truck, one of them units. There's a guy got a solar panel out. I suppose these people were praying for good weather before they left and here we are 55 degrees. They got the old grill fired up over there. There's a tent. Bunch of little kids. I think there's more people here now than there was on Memorial Day. <coughs> I talked to my son about camping out. We're gonna we're gonna do that. I like that spot right there. This is spot number ninety. Looks like somebody just pulled out of there. Typically, this isn't the kind of camping I would do when I was younger, but, oh, what about this one right here? Number 98, that's a nice spot. Not too far from the shower room, bathrooms. Remember that, 98. Let's see if I can get that one when I'm ready. almost tempted to get it this week and come out this weekend. I might. I'll let you know if I do. And we'll video it. My first camp and be my first camp out in my 60s. I haven't been camping since I turned 60. I'm 65 right now. Better get a move on. We all did our, I, I only stayed in campgrounds a couple times when I was younger. Mostly just went out in the woods and found a place. But nowadays with the age and back pain and all that, I don't wanna to get too far off the beaten path. And I want to do a couple of close ones to make sure I got everything organized. You get more cautious when you get older, don't you? When you're young, you just take off without giving it a thought. And then when you get older, you start thinking about all the things that can happen. There's a couple hikers. Good day for hiking. You wouldn't get sweaty. Not a good day for much of anything else. <coughs> I went down my son's last night. I know I talk about getting this air conditioner going. I'm done here. But I went down last night and he checked on my fuses. One he mentioned about checking my fuses to make sure they weren't they were still good and that, that wasn't a problem with the air conditioner so he checked them all they're good 
and I have that cabin air freshener I still didn't put in yet. Maybe I'll do that when I get home. It's pretty easy. It looks like pretty easy anyway. I watched a YouTube video on how to do it. It's just behind the glove compartment, so it looks easy. We'll wait and see if it is or not. So I don't have any plans for today. I'm going to go home. Maybe I'll come back on it later. I don't know. But that's about it for now. Stay frosty, deal out.